Oh my. Bills lose 20 to 13 against the Houston Texans. This game, this, this damn game. I don't know what to really say to start it off because I still am in shock of what happened. This game started out with and ended with the Bills defense carrying the load. The defense was phenomenal. They had seven sacks on Deshaun Watson. Granted, this Texans offensive line is not that good. But seven sacks is seven sacks. It's very impressive because I'm pretty sure the most sacks we've had all year is about in a game is uh, maybe three or four. I'm not really sure. Can't remember that well. But the defense did what they had to do. We had calls free turnovers, and the offense could not capitalize. I mean, there were times the offense was looking good, but just they, we weren't able to move the ball. If you want to win, you got to move the ball. I have nothing to say really about the whole thing with Allen's injury because as it is right now, it is a sprained UCL joint in his, in his, I believe his throwing elbow, so his right elbow. And this a UCL, that is the injury. When you hear about a Tommy John injury in baseball, or a Tommy John surgery in baseball, that is the UCL joint most of the times, or tendon, whatever it is. I don't, ligament. So it's believed he's going to be able to avoid Tommy John. So thank God. But there's one problem with this. This Sunday against the Indianapolis Colts, the Bills will have to turn to Nathan Peterman to start. My goodness. In Nathan Peterman's free career NFL starts, he was not able to finish the game. His first start against the Chargers last year, pulled at halftime because he threw five interceptions in the first half. Last year, um, Tyrod injured was injured against the Patriots. Peterman started against the Colts in that Blizzard game. He didn't. He got was pulled in the third half because he dove head first for a for head first for a first down, and gave himself a concussion. And then week one against the Ravens. He completed that thing with two or three passes. He it was something astronomically terrible, and was pulled for Josh Allen. And we're going to resort to this guy for the next couple weeks because it's believed that Allen might be out about at least three weeks. <clears throat> if you cannot tell, I absolutely despise Nathan Peterman. I don't understand how he's even on this roster. He's a terrible, terrible quarterback. He cannot read the field. He can't read the defense. He's also not confident when he's throwing the ball. It seems like it's an afterthought. When he's throwing the ball, you've got to be confident in that. you got to sling it. He doesn't. It's usually it's, When he throws the ball, there's two circumstances. It's either underthrown or it's overthrown. It's rarely in place. But when it is, you know, you'll be like, oh, maybe he's got this. But there were times Sunday where he showed, hey, I can do this, that – throw that Zay Jones in the corner of the end zone was brilliant. It seems That seems to be the only throw he can actually make. It's got to be a back corner throw in the end zone. Because that's all I've seen. we've seen him do when he's got a touchdown. All three of his passing touchdowns were back corner throws. To Nick O'Leary, to Calvin Benjamin, and then Zay Jones. He is he just he can't really move the ball well. And that's what you got to do. Also, you know, when it comes to injuries, that's really the only major Bills injury we got. The other reason we lost was because the special team was terrible. Ray Ray McLeod III muffed two kickoff returns. No, he muffed the kickoff for the opening kickoff return, and then he fumbled the following punt return. And that's not going to help you because you can't just give the ball up. Sacrificing bad field, sacrificing field possession. So now we have the Colts. The Colts are a team that I cannot really get a good read on them because they've looked okay. The only thing I'm gonna I'm concerned about is we're having to go up against a healthy Andrew Luck. But when we did the last time we did play the Colts with a healthy Andrew Luck, we were able to keep get him out of his comfort zone. 
he didn't he threw two intercept he threw two to three two or three interceptions in that game. I was there. It was a very good game, well for Bills fans it was. Um that was LaShawn McCoy's first game with the Bills. Um and if you saw the game last year in the Blizzard, truly, if we want to win, I think we just gotta feed the ball to Shady, feed the ball to Chris Ivory, and if Marcus Murphy's gonna play, feed the ball to Marcus Murphy. Just run the ball. Because hopefully that's gonna be what it takes. I don't see the Bills winning with Nathan Peterman. I see the final score of this game going to be about Colts mm, 34 to um, 17. I don't have confidence when Nathan Peterman's out there. I'm, I'm, the, on those 17, I'm pretty sure those are going to be points we're going to score off turnovers on offense. Like, we'll go we'll force a turnover and then we'll, you know, score off it. Anyway, that's it for now. Um, I'm very disappointed. Thanks for watching. And subscribe, like, comment, whatever. Um, I'm angry Buffalo fan, and God, this team is not good.